definitely hope after 25 years of new antiepileptic drugs that were developed, which was uh, apparently a, a fortune for the patients and for the doctors, but we still have about 30% of uh, patients who are drug resistant. So uh, in spite of this huge variety of new drugs, this, this particular third of patients with drug resistant epilepsy still exists. So what we definitely need, first of all, is more, if, more efficacy with new drugs. That is one point. And the other point is, and that is the general topic, I guess, of the meeting, um, that we need some steps towards precision medicine in, in epilepsy as well. And uh, there are some steps into the right direction. And one of my talks uh, at the Satellite Symposium actually will cover that a little bit because in some rare complex epilepsy syndromes that are genetically defined. We uh, do, uh, we did make some steps towards precision medicine. We do have some examples, especially in tuberous sclerosis complex with uh, a drug called Everolimus, where we uh, have this approach of an anti-epileptogenic uh, uh, therapy more than a pure anti-seizure therapy. There is Dravé syndrome, which is SCN1A gene-related and there are very interesting prospects uh, towards precision medicine. And these are uh, some aspects I will cover during my talk. And of course, there is uh, another very interesting new anti-seizure medication it's called Sinovamate, which is extremely efficacious. And, and, and therefore, we do have the hope that uh, we will overcome this uh, third uh, of patients I spoke about with those drug-resistant epilepsy and to reduce that percentage uh, remarkably.